Today we will talk about food adulteration. Nowadays, daily we come to know about food adulteration, food adulterants. Now let us see what is this adulteration. Adulteration is an addition of another substance to a food item. Why do people add adulterants? What do you think? This is added to increase the quantity of food item. What is the result of it? The quality of the food item will be reduced. And to make it more attractive, people add adulterants. Why to add these adulterants to make money at the cost of our health? Because the quality will be decreased. We buy in the market by looking at the food items, their colors, bright colors we see in the market. It may be fruits, vegetables or some other food items. So what are these food adulterants? They may be other available food items or even non-food items. Just for an example, I will tell you, meat and meat products are adulterated with water or ice, not an issue, but also with the carcasses and carcasses of animals other than the animals meant to be consumed. So food item is said to be adulterated. When? When do we say that the food item is adulterated? A substance which is added is injurious for human consumption. In another case, an inferior substance is substituted wholly or partly with the food item. And the last one is a valuable ingredient has been abstracted from the food product partly or wholly in part. Now let us see various types of adulterants food found in the food products. What are the intentional adulterants like coloring agents, starch, pepper oil and injectable dyes. Some are incidental adulterants like pesticide residues, larvae in food, dropping of rodents. Next one is metallic contaminants like lead, arsenic, effluent from chemical industries. Now let us look into the in intentional adulterants. Coloring agents. We see the available foods in the market. It may be in the hotels, processed food, vegetables, fruits are fully colored now, bright colors. People are attracted by these food items and we go and purchase but nobody will think about what is present in it and what is it making so colorful. Starch. Starch is added to so many food items to increase the quantity. Injectable dyes. We see colorful apples, colorful tomatoes, watermelons, green peas etc. By seeing these colors they look so fresh and we are buying it but it is it is very much harmful to our health next metallic contaminants we say that the groundwater is contaminated with lead arsenic and effluents from chemical industries these chemical industries nowadays they send their effluents to the drinking water it may be lakes rivers the people are not aware of it we drink it and all these metal contaminants and the effluents, chemicals present in the effluents, they enter our body through the water we drink. See this picture. Some is something, some chemical dye is injected to the apple. It looks so bright, so much shiny. Tomatoes, watermelons, green peas. Green peas, if you put into water, keep on washing it. The green color comes out and the water will get colored. So how many times you wash, at the end also the green color remains on these piece. And apples, you can see on apples and tomatoes, these colors are uniformly distributed. And you cannot expect if an apple or tomato is ripened naturally, this uniformity in these colors. So what is it making this color? is that people inject dyes into these fruits 
and these fruits and vegetables they cut un they get uniform color watermelon also so red when you open it and cut it so it is also injected with coloring agents so why do people do this they make it so attractive people will buy it in turn people will get money out of it who is doing it is it, is it the farmer or the mediator most of the cases mediators do this and they make money out of it you can see the pineapples selling on the roads if the mediator if he wants to sell the pineapple in another two days means today he will inject the pineapple with the coloring agents and some chemicals after two days the pineapples will bulge and they appear as though they are ripened very beautifully they sell it on the roads and we are we will be buying it and eating it and nobody will know what is it inside the pineapples it's with the tomato also also if you go to the market and see the big big tomatoes the color will be uniformly distributed and at certain point you will see there is decoloration that is like when the point they inject the color will be spread uniformly in the fruit so it's natural that we feel the tomato is very good very red in color we will buy it next we will move on to intentional adulteration the people purposely add this adulterant to the food salt and acid food with preservatives salt and we, we know when we prepare pickle we add salt and oils vegetable oils normally we add yes we want to preserve these pickles for 6 months 1 year so salt is a preservative we add sometimes we see food added with vinegars vinegar is a dilute acetic acid so acid food is preservatives we add that may be intentional because to preserve the foods then next coming to the food colors in olden days actually the people used to extract vegetable dyes from the vegetable which is a natural one they used to add to the foods to make it colorful but nowadays these vegetable dyes are not available and it is an expensive affair to extract food colors from the vegetables so people go for synthetic colors synthetic colors means dyes dyes and dyes extracted from coal tars these are the chemicals which are being added pickles colored in green you might have seen pickles in green color do you think that it is a natural color which is added to that no definitely not it's a copper salt which is added to pickle to make it green then food flavors you get quite many foods with flavors maybe ice creams soft drinks fruit juices so what do you think do you think that the original uh, flavor extracted from orange pineapple mango it has been added to these fruits definitely no because it becomes very expensive if you take 2 kgs of orange and extract the orange flavor you will end up in milligrams will it work out no it will become again costly so what do people do they produce these synthetic flavors in kgs and add milligrams to these food items for example the flavor mango flavor pear pineapple and uh, strawberry maybe this to prepare one flavor it may take 10 to 12 chemical ingredients next milk we know we add milk we add uh, water to milk correct to we dilute it because the thick milk is very difficult to di get digested in our stomach so milk is adulterated with water not an issue that's not a problem but the cream of the milk will be removed and the milk available in the market is without cream so in the beginning we have told that a valuable ingredient will be extracted from the food the same thing the removal of the cream from the milk 
milk cream is a valuable ingredient which is present in the milk whatever the milk we get in the market does not contain so much cream in that another milk i can give you example we get some brand milk in the market they keep it outside the fridge not even in the refrigerator and they say that you can use it for 6 months do you think it is a real milk no definitely no the milk we cannot keep it in the normal temperature not even for a day so what is it it is adulterated milk so we can keep at room temperature for 6 months that's not the real milk milk with starch they add urea also to the milk to make it thick it does not contain its cream or fatty content in that then cheese made from skim skim milk or cotton seed oil and starch addition to sausages there are few more example if i give ice cream you see ice cream is frothing when they give it in a cup or a glass to you do you think it is a natural ice cream frothing like that definitely not they add washing powders to that washing powder we know that we get frothing in that so this is what they add make it attractive people are unaware of it we eat it we enjoy it sugar and salt in sugar and salt chalk powder is added and the quantity will be increased the middleman he will make money out of it so sugar originally the sugar extracted from sugar cane is brown in color but what color sugar we get in the market is pure white how it is made white we say refined these are refined in the factories how do they refine they add whitening agent called as potassium bromate to sugar to make it white and students please remember that potassium bromate is a chemical and it is carcinogenic which causes cancer in our body so should we take more sugar just given thought we will continue this adulteration topic in our next session